Okay, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel presenting before you this uh, wonderful tutorial from the uh, University of Zambia is your tutor, tutor Arison J. Zuru. So even before I start uh, teaching you this tutorial sheet under uh, mathematics, so this is uh, mathematics foundation, mathematics and statistics for social sciences. So even if you are under the school of natural sciences, uh, this tutorial sheet will really help you. And if you are new to my YouTube channel, let's make sure we subscribe. Let's make sure we like the video and comment something so that we may uh, attract other people. So let's make sure we like, share, and comment. So this is a, a tutorial under sets. This is a tutorial sheet one for 2021-2022. So the first question is saying, list the elements of the following sets so we are just told to list the elements of the following sets so we've got these sets so this is the first set so the first uh, set is saying a uh, a is equal to x such that x is an even have you seen x is what x is an even then we've got this x is less than what 18 so the first thing that you should ask, what is an even? So here, we just need to list what even number. So we are on question 1. So question 1a, eh, like this. So we want to list set A, eh, which is containing what? Even what? Even numbers. So an even number, this is a number that is divisible by what? Uh, by 2. So divisible by 2. So divisible by 2, we've got numbers like 2, Four, six, eight. Have you seen we've got as even zero is part of the even numbers? So we've got zero, two, four, six. But here it's saying x is a member of what natural numbers. So what are natural numbers? Natural numbers are counting numbers. So you are just counting. So even in this case, so we start from where two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, like this, you end here. So this is the what, this is your answer for A. So that is your what, that is your answer. That is it. So this is one like this. So this is our answer. We go to two. So just like this, you are not supposed to include 18 because of this symbol. 18 is not inclusive. So I go to two. So what is uh, 2 saying? So I've got a 2 with me. So 2 is saying B is what is between negative 2 like X such that X is greater than negative 2. X is greater than or equal to negative 2. And X is less than or equal to 7 over 2. So X is between these two numbers. Then we are told that X is a what a member of what uh, is a what is an integer x is an integer like that so what we need to do is that for us to answer this question we're going to do that b is equal to like this is what we are going to do and this is what we are going to follow so two starting from two so negative two is inclusive we go to negative one we go to zero like that we go to one we go to 2, we go to 3 like this, then we go to what? 7 over 2. So this is how you need to list it. That's it. So you are done. So these are simple things that you can't fail to do. I believe we are all able to do these uh, simple stuffs. So let's make sure uh, we just understand them properly. We follow them properly. These are simple stuffs that we are able to do. So I'll try to answer uh uh, not uh, everything but uh, a few questions that uh, may really help you so from here uh, let me help you with uh, let me which one so these are simple things that you can feel like this so I'm going to answer this is just the same as that one so like this one here that is 5 so this is what I'm going to do so I go to 5 I uh, help you see just one and the same the same way I'm going to answer this one this is the same way you're going to answer this one so here we are told to answer that one. That one is what it is like this. F is equal to 
f is equal to what x such that x squared is equal to what 4 like that then a uh, comma then we are told that x uh, x is a member of what is an integer like this have you seen like this so the first thing you need to do here for you to answer this question you need to solve this you need to solve this equation so it's x uh, it is x squared is equal to 4 we introduce the square root we also introduce the what the square root so discover that x will be what 2 or x will be equal to what equal to negative 2 this is how your answers will be have you seen so it means meaning here what we are given is what x is equal to 2 or x is equal to negative 2 as simple as that so it means for you to list that set you are going to say f is equal to like this f is equal to what you just state like this negative 2 and 2 like this have you seen this is set f this is how you need to answer so here you know that the square root of any number you're going to have two solutions a negative and a positive so this is what you need to do we move to the uh this question here so let's move to uh let me help you with this question so this is also simple x is a what x is a we are given this x is a multiple of uh, a three three which is uh x is also less than what uh, less than uh, 10 so less than 10 so how do we answer that one so that is d which is equal to so d so these are simple things that we need to do we need to go through them we revise through them so let's make sure we revise through them we understand uh, these things that i'm trying to explain here from here now what you do next now have you seen is a multiple of what a multiple of three given this question so uh x is a multiple of uh saying the question is saying x is a multiple of three uh such that x is less than 10 so how do we answer this question so the way we are going to answer this question we know that uh here uh the debate can be on is zero included or not included so this is where uh the trick was on this question so you need to ask yourself ah am i supposed to include a zero or not so what you need to know is that uh, zero is a multiple of every number so here we say we start from zero three six and nine like this have you seen so if you are told to list the uh, multiples of five less than so less than 20 like this less than 20 which means it's zero five ten fifteen five ten and fifteen like this this is five ten and what 15 this is how the set can be if you were told in that manner so zero is a multiple of every number so this is what you need to know and understand that zero is a multiple of every number so we move we go to question two let's go to question two so we go to question two so question two is saying let the universal set u be equal to x like this we are given this i hope we are able to see x is less than 10 where x is a natural number a we are given these numbers so b uh, we are able to see this c we've got a c there c given so this is c here so i'm going so that you don't get confused we've got a c here c is close to that that is c uh d is given like this e i believe we are able to see so e this is a set e we are given and f this is what you are given so i'm doing this because of time so that we finish this tutorial sheet first so the first question is saying list down the set c u d and e given that d and e are subsets of u have you seen given that d and e are subsets of what a subset of u so u is the universal set so we are told that u is the universal set so how do we list we start with what set u we start with the universal set so that is the universal set so we list u how are we going to list u so we are told that u 
numbers less than what 10 x uh, x such that x is less than 10 and x is a member of natural numbers so you list the numbers less than 10 where 10 itself is not included because of this so this symbol very important so if i write like this greater than or equal to 8 so it means even the 8 is included but when i say greater than 8 which means the 8 itself is not included so this symbol is very important let's make sure we practice them and we understand so this is what you need to know and get after you do this now the next thing is that you know that natural numbers are counting numbers so you start from one that is one a two three four five six seven eight nine like this you do this so that is the set we go to uh which one are we given d how are we going to answer d so when you don't know how to uh, list this then you find difficulties in answering these questions here which are given so d what are we given d d where is d d is here uh, x is close to 2 what x is close to 2 uh, k plus 1 so when something is given like this there's something that you need to understand when something is given like 2 k plus 1 this is a formula for what this is the formula that we use whenever we want to find an odd number so whenever you want to find an odd number this is the formula that we get to use so when you want to find an odd number this is the formula that you get to use so in other words they're just telling you to list what odd numbers because any value of k here any value of k that you're going to put here let's say one so two times one plus one that is three have you seen so three is an odd number so any value that you are going to put there have you seen we we as we are answering this we are not supposed to include zero because we are told that d and e are subsets of the universal set so in the universal set we do, we don't have a zero so this is the formula for odd numbers so we just list odd numbers less than what 10 so what are those numbers we've got a three a five we've got a seven and nine you do this so this is the set have you seen we go to e so which is equal to what is e now so when we when we go to e now what you need to know and understand is that e this is e set e is here have you seen 2k this is the formula for what for ev numbers so i'm telling you this so that we understand so 2k this is the formula for what ev numbers any value here any number you're going to put here we are told that is what natural number any natural number that you're going to put here you're going to find an odd number let's put two two times two is equal to four four is an ev number have you seen so any value of k here you are going to find an ev number so we list ev numbers less than what 10 so ev numbers two four six eight like this these are what even numbers so these are odd numbers these are even numbers so this is how we go about this so now with this understanding now we go into what we go into practice we want to answer this uh, question so how do we answer this question now so these questions are just one and the same so like we want to answer this part have you seen so we want to answer this part how do we answer this part have you seen we want to answer this this is what this is part a a intersection open bracket u union e so what you need to do for you to answer this question you know that the first thing you are going to do is that you are going to say a you list all the elements that are, that are in what in a so what are the elements in set a where is it is it a z one two three four five so you list them one two three four and five like this have you seen you list them then you follow this intersection 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 then you do this intersection what c union e so c this is our c here then our e is here have you seen the e is here the e is here 
So we get the what? We get the we get the C and the E. So we start from where two. We've got a two there. We just combine them. Two, four. Have you seen C and E? We combine them. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, four. Have you seen two? Start from the lowest. So we've got a two, a four, five, six, seven, eight. Even nine is there. Nine is there. So we don't repeat a number twice. I remember the first video that I did on the introduction to set theory. I told you that uh, we don't repeat a number or an element. So have you seen now? This is U intersection, a uh, U union E. This is then intersecting what is common. So we get what is common. So I'm answering this question here. So what is common here? A 2 is here. So I do this. 2 is there. Which other number? 4 is there. And the 5 is there. So this is your what? This is your answer. This is how we answer that question. This is how you need to answer that question. So th this is the answer. 2, 4, 5. 2, 2. 4, 4. 5, 5 like this. So these are the what? These are the answers. 2, 4, 5. This is how you need to answer this question. We move to this other one. So we move to this other one. How are we going to answer this one? Have you seen... How are we going to answer this one? So I'm going to write it here so that we understand. So first I want to explain this. Do we know what this means? So this is the difference of sets. So this means that elements which belong to B but do not belong to A. This is what it means. So this means that elements which belong to B but do not belong to A. This means that it is B intersection A complement have you seen so the first thing you are going to do you are going to list b you are going to list b here it is the b that you are going to list so you list b so what where is b where is my b where is my b wow my b is here this is where my b is so i think we are able to see that so that is my b my b is what four five six and seven then intersection have you seen intersection intersection what a complement so whenever we want to find a complement we consider the universal set have you seen we consider the what we consider the universal set this is what we are going to do we are going to consider the universal set so in the universal set what do we have so we remove a a is what one two three four five up to five so from from the universal set this is the universal set. I remove 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What do I remain with? I remain with this. 6, 7, 8, 9. This is what I've remained with. I've remained with what? Uh, uh, this is what I've remained with. So, uh, this is what I've remained with. I've got what and what? I've got uh, 6, 7, 8, 9. Like this. Have you seen? This is what I've remained with. When we reach here now, we say this is equal to what? So this is the easiest way of answering this question. So I'm going to write it here. So B minus A is equal to, so it is equal to what? What is common? 6, 7. Even here, 6, 7. So you just say 6 and what? 7. This is your answer. Have you seen? So this is another way of answering this question. But like I've told you, this means that elements which belong to B but do not belong to A. You check now. The easiest way of answering now, you check which element belong to B but are not in A. 6 is in B. Do you have a 6 there? No. 7 is in B. Do you have a 7 there? No. So 6, 7. Straight away you answer that question. But I wanted you to have this understanding here. You know where everything is coming from. So have you seen like this? The way I've answered this, this is the way you need to answer. So like if you want to go straight to your answer, you just check now. Elements which are in B but are not in what and are not in A. So elements which belong to B but do not belong to A. This is what it means. Then you check A is here. Elements which belong to B but are not in A. It's what? 6, 7. 
because 6, 7 is not here. Have you seen? So this is how we get to answer this. I've also showed you, so I've showed you two methods that we can use to answer that question. So we move to this other one now. We go to this other one. So how are we going to answer? So I'm showing you the easiest way of handling this question so that uh, you don't face some challenges. So we've got A intersection B like this. Minus what? Minus B. Like this. Have you seen? So we are told that to find elements which belong to this one here. This is what? A intersection B. So the first thing you need to do is to write A intersection B. You go back and check. A intersection B. A intersection B. What numbers appear in both sides? A intersection B. We've got uh, a 4 there. A 4 is here. 5. A 5 is here. Which other numbers? So the 4, 5, 4, 5. 6, 7. Here there is no 6, 7. So it's only 4 and what? 4 and 5. So I check here. So this one I know is what? It's 4 and what? And 5. Only 2 numbers. Minus what? Minus the B here. Minus the? Minus the B. So what is the B? I begin to check. The B is what? The B. The B is what? 4, 5, 6, 7 here. I don't know if we are able to see. The B is what? 4, 5, 6, 7. So that is the same one. 4, 5, 6, 7. This is what? This is B. So now elements here now we check. Elements which belong to what? Elements which belong to this but do not belong to B. This is B. So elements which belong to this but are not in B. What are those elements? Here we don't have N. So this is the what? The empty set. Have you seen? This is the what? This is the empty set. Or the other way in which you can answer this question, like I've told you, that one can also be A, intersection B, intersection B, complement. This is what it means. So it means A, intersection B, you do this, you say here we maintain 4, 5. Then you say minus, we find the B complement here. We find the B complement. How are we going to find the B complement? Uh, very simple. So the way we are going to find the B complement are uh, very simple. So B complement. So uh, like I've been telling you, the way we find the B complement, this is the B. So B complement means the elements which are not in what? In B. So we consider the universal set. So from the universal set, remove remove these numbers remove 4 5 6 7 so if you remove 4 5 6 7 here we've got 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 down here we're going to have 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 are removed then here we've got a 7 there so 8 9 have you seen say? 7 we exclude it so 8 9 so i say here i go back 8 9. So what is common here? Nothing. Still maintain the what? The empty set. So this is how we get to answer this question. This is how we get to answer this question. So these things are just one and the same. So these things are just the same way of answer this. So I want you to practice this. Practice this question. I want you to practice this question. The same way I answered this. So this one uh, uh, I've made a video under the Morgan's law, so you know what that means. So you find the what the Morgan's law. So here means that what this means that first thing you are going to say. So let me give you a clue on how to go about uh, these questions, how we are going to go about uh, uh, these questions. So the way we are going to go about this first one here. The first thing that you need to do, you know that that's F like this, then you say minus. Have you seen? Then you find this now, you find this answer. When you find this answer, this is A intersection B complement. You find A intersection B complement. After you find A intersection B complement, the answer, you bring it here. The same answer, the answer that will come here. So I'm going to do this here. We've got uh, numbers here. So the same answer that will be here, then this will be what you say elements which belong to F but are not in this answer that you found. Have you seen? 
So you take elements which belong to F but are not in that. That is what you are going to do. So I move to C. So we are still under question 1. So I move to C. So C is saying let you be uh, let you be uh, you universal set is x x is natural numbers between 1 and 21 all these are included 1 and what 1 and 21 this is what you need to do 1 and 21 i will also have got this one where i told you previously i'm just from telling you these are what these are odd numbers have you seen these are odd numbers so we are able to do that less than what less than 20 this is the data which we are given. So let's make sure we go through this and this. Then the first question is saying, illustrate the information on a Venn diagram. After illustrating the information on a Venn diagram, hence find the following. So we want to illustrate the information on a Venn diagram. How can we do that? So we want to illustrate this information on a Venn diagram. So we are given the universal set, uh, the universal set uh, here, it's what? So how do we start? How many sets are we given first of all? You check, we are given how many sets? We've got A, set A, set B, and set C. So we say, this is what we are going to do. So this is what we are going to do. We do this. So we can say this is A, this is B, this is C. So how do we start this? We check numbers that are appearing in both. So that are appearing in all the sets given. So here yeah, what is not given first of all, I work out A. A is not given. So A, I told you those are what? These are odd numbers. So odd numbers less than what? Odd numbers less than 20. So we've got uh, 3. We've got 5, 7 like that. 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, like that, uh, 19, like that. We do this. Have you seen? Like this, this is what is given. We also have B, so I'm just going to write this so that we understand. What is B? What is B? We take, what is B? What is B? What is B? So my B, my B, my B, my B, my B is here. This is where my B is. One, one, three, this is B. Have you seen? This is B, this is C. So I'm just going to copy. So in B, uh, I've got uh, one, three, eight, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, like this. I've got C. My C is what? One, two, six, eight. 9, 11, 15, like this. So, I find what is appearing in O. Have you seen? I find what is appearing in O. This. this is the first thing you are going to do. So, I remember very well, we also did this uh, during our secondary uh, level. So, we just uh, find this. So, this is what we covered. So, what is appearing in both? You check what is appearing in both. So first of all, you know that we've got what? 1, 1. You have you seen 1? Where 1 is? This is where 1 is. 1 is appearing in B and C. So B and C, I'm going to do this. I've got 1. Uh, we, I continue writing. So what is appearing in both? So I've got uh, a 9 there. A and C, I've got a 9. A and C, there is a 9 there. Then I've got uh, which other numbers. So I start doing this. So it may take uh, a lot of time. Then I start counting now. I check. So this you this is the same way that you'll be doing. So these are simple stuffs. We check now. What is appearing in both? The numbers that is appearing in both. You check. Uh, that is. Uh, so you check. Begin to check. Begin to check. Begin to check. Begin to check. We've got 19 here and a 19 there. A, B. A, B, we've got a 19 there. So, I've got which other one? Uh, like this. I do this. 
uh, then we have got a three a b a b i've got a three this is a b a three is also there so i include also a three which other numbers uh you begin to check now so here we've got which other numbers now here we've got a two here which is in c it's not in any number i've got uh we begin to check now we begin to check numbers now so here i've got what 8 8 bc 8 check 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 nothing so ac 11 ac i've got 11 there ac 11 is there then 13 15 so like four, I've got numbers like so three and nineteen are taken. Five, there is no five here. So five, seven. Seven like that. Eleven is here taken. Nine is here taken. Thirteen, I do this. Fifteen. Fifteen. Have you seen fifteen here? There is also a 15 there. So A and C, I've got a 15. A 15. 17. Here. 19 is there. Have you seen the way I've written this? I'm done with this. I go to B. B, what is taken? 180. So 18319. One. 3819 just a 20 that is remaining. I go to this C C. I go to C now. So how am I going to answer C? So what is taken? One is there, two is there, six. Six have I written six? No. I write six. Eight is there, nine is there, heaven is there, fifteen is there. So these are what is there? One 8, 15, 11, 9, here. Yeah. Have you seen the way I've written? So this is how you need to present this. So you check, you say 1, 2, uh, 3. So do I have a 4 here? No. A 4 is not given. So a 4 is where? Outside. This is where the 4 is. 4 is outside. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, do I have a 10 somewhere? Do I have a 10? No. So a 10 is outside. 10, 11. Do I have a 12 somewhere? 12, 12. Check, check, 12. No. So even a 12 is outside. 12 is outside. 13. 13. Do I have a 14? No. Even a 14 is outside. 15 is there. 16, do I have a 16? So I take 16, uh, no. 16, no. 16, no. 17, there. Do I have 18? 18, no. So 18 is outside in the universal so set. 18, the 19 is there. So I've answered this. So you may try to check through if there is any mistake, but uh, everything I've been explaining is correct so you may try to check through this so after you are done with this now this is the it has uh, taken a lot of time then we go to a complement intersection b complement what is the answer have you seen so since we've got this one what is not in a and b what is not intersecting have you seen a this then b this so you remove a and b so a a and b so a you go to a what is your a your a so you can answer this using this now so a you remove all this have you seen you remove all this what are we going to have from the universe says, so we are going to have we've got uh, uh we've got one so it's ranging one to 20. so from here now what we are going to have here is that uh, do I have a 20 here? So, 
1 here, you know that you are supposed to have. So, the easiest way to answer this question. So, these are simple questions. I'm just going to uh, answer one. So, the same concept that we've been doing, this is the same way that we are supposed to answer this question. So, you check. This is, this is, this is it. So, this is what? A complement. So, A complement, what does it mean? A complement, have you seen? A complement, you remove this. You remain with everything here. Have you seen? A, you remove this. Have you seen? You also remove the B here. So you remove this. You also remove this. What numbers are you going to have? You're going to have these numbers and the numbers which are outside. Have you seen? So this is what you are going to do. So just remove A here. Remove A. Remove also the B here. Then you get numbers which are what? outside here so we've got what six and seven uh, i mean six and two this is how you need to answer this question so this is how you need to answer this question so just what six and what six and at two like this so you are uh, it's not six and two uh, it's only six and two but all the numbers outside here. you just move set a and set B. So you list every number that is outside 18, 10, 16, 4, 14, 12, 6, 2. You list this. So this is how you are supposed to answer that question. So you move to this other one here. I've seen. So A union B complement is equal to what? So A union B complement. Have you seen A union B complement? How are you going to answer that question? A union B. A union b complement you remove this you also remove that how are we going to answer that question so the way we are going to answer this question as it's uh it's simple so this is also just the same as have you seen these two are just one and the same i believe we've done uh we we've done uh, uh we've done the morgan's law so these are the same. We can prove them using the Morgan's A complement intersection B complement is equal to A union B is equal to this B complement. So these two are just one and the same. So even this will give you the same answer. Have you seen? So the same answer here, which is the same answer that is there. So we are able to do all these uh, questions that are here. I believe we are able to do this. This this means A union B. A union B, you list it, then you compare with the, the set C, the elements that are appearing both sides. So A, A union B, you list all the elements. In C, you write C, then you begin to check what are common. So I've also explained this other part. We are able to do that. So I, I move to D. So I move to what? I move to D. List down all the subsets of each of the following. So, I want to list down the subsets of each of the following. So, here you know that how to list these subsets. This one is very simple. We have A is equal. So, we are told to list down all the subsets. So, we've got this one A. So, listing down all the subsets, uh, we need to have knowledge on the power set, which is the collection of all the subsets. So, listing these subsets, which is just the same as A, like you, you list the subsets. So, First thing is an empty set. An empty set is a subset of every set and the set itself like this. So this is we've listed all the subsets. These are the subsets. Then I move to this other one. B is equal to. So I've got A, B. So you even know that for you to find the number of subsets here, you do 2 to the power N. How many elements? 2. 2 to the power 2 is. There are 4. You know, okay, they are going to be 4. You list them like this. You say the first one is what? A. Second, you separate them B like this. Then you've got uh, A, B like this. Then I, was, I told you that the empty set is a subset of every set like this. Then they are done. One, two, three, four. Therefore, that is here. So even the here, there are many. You just say two to the power three, which is eight. They are eight. So you list them. You A. 
you send it uh, independent on its own so this is how you are going to work out this these are simple stuffs that you need to be practicing this tutorial i'm going to end on question one next time i'll come i will start here so the next video that will be uploaded i'm going to start it from here this is where i'm going to start from question two so we are still under this tutorial so if you've got a question concerning what i've taught in this you can whatsapp me on this whatsapp line this is my whatsapp line you can whatsapp me on this then i'll be able to respond to you this is my a whatsapp line or drop a text on telegram this is my line plus two six zero nine seven one zero six six seven four seven thank you so much don't forget to like don't forget to comment